I love being a corporate chef because it, uh, the variety of work that I do every day is different. Um, I can come in and present to big Q- QSRs or to uh, smaller end users. Uh, I can train sales teams. I do photography shoots. Uh, it's just an, a, an adventure all rolled into one. Uh, it's one of the most exciting careers that I have chosen in my life. Was it something you always planned to do or did you get into it almost by accident? I got into Corporate Chef very much by accident. Um, uh, Chef, traditionally French trained, uh, fine dining, uh, went into hotel management and didn't like that as much so I went back to food and I went back to food through sales and noticed that uh, one of the things that was lacking was that the amount of knowledge or recipe ideas or anything that or menu insights uh, was not uh, in front of people. So I kind of self-created the role uh, back in my very first corporate chef role. And uh, from then, I've just loved it and been very lucky to go to four companies and be a corporate chef in those companies. Now, of course, there aren't that many corporate chefs in Australia compared, say, with America or the UK. That's correct. Um, Australia's probably, in the last 10, 15 years, really started to understand the importance of a a corporate chef. Uh, It's a very new role to this industry and uh, a lot of people still don't know what a corporate chef does. So um, there's about 30 that I know of that um, we all pretty much uh, network very closely and uh, most of the major corporates and uh, you know even retail stores like Woolworths and Coles are now starting to employ chefs. So would it be something you would advise a young chef watching this to have a go at at some stage? It's it's an interesting career because you need different skill sets. If you come from the kitchen, it's a very hard role to get into because you have to do so many multiple different things. Your strategy planning, your, you know, in marketing seminars, you're, you're in a different role. The best advice is if you went into sales or a marketing role as a from a chef and learn those really well, you've got a better chance of going the role. But if you can get into it, it is the most exciting adventure of um, my culinary career and I think of anyone's career. What sort of reaction do you get from fellow chefs who are still at the coalface? So a lot of them question, what am I doing, um, for, first of all, and what do you do? And I oh, know you just produce mass-produced products. But they don't realise that a lot of the food starts in my kitchen and the products that they're using or they're creating or putting on their menus start in the kitchen that I have back at the Cerebos head head office and uh, we look at different uh, ways of creating product. And we also, because we've worked on the coalface, we understand the menus, we understand what's happening, so we try and use a lot of different insights to create the products that chefs use every day. And of course, the sort of products you're creating in most kitchens these days, there simply isn't the time to do anything else but use them. That's correct. With uh, skill sets going down and and people not having the time to teach or train, uh, these products do help. And you can influence the products by adding your own ingredients. We're just creating a great base for chefs to use each and every day. Looking forward, where do you see your career going over the next few years? So I've stayed in as a corporate chef for a while now and I actually enjoy it. I think my career will always stay in a corporate chef role. If not, because I work for a large company, I would love to be the food director internationally, uh, which is quite exciting. But I also love the aspect of maybe Woolworths or Coles and get really behind that um, or going overseas and working in the multinationals in America or UK. So there's plenty of scope yet? Plenty of scope and uh, plenty of opportunity for my retirement, so yeah, long time to, to go.